Hey, hey, welcome back. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? Um, that is a good teacher. Yeah. Not a lot of work. The day was easy. What happened? Today you stay home and relaxed. What? Yes, yes, uh, uh, at home. Ooh, this is the good life, huh? Yes. <laughs> and Nady, why didn't you go to work today? Um, I don't get it. Why didn't you go to work today? Why did you stay home? Um, um, no sé cómo se dice. Consultor. Consultant? Uh, okay, consultants. Consultants. Okay. I am. I am consultant. So you work from home? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you went to the office. Yes. But no. Um, office, office mm. not. No. No, at home. Okay. Okay, great. Well, it's, I'm glad that everybody is here and we're going to go ahead and get started. Before we continue, uh, any questions uh, about yesterday or the platform? Today we are beginning unit two. So before we begin, any questions? Um, any questions, teacher? Uh, finish uh, unit two. All right, wow. You are super fast, that's amazing. Yes. Okay, well, let's take a look. Today, we're going to see our objective of describing things using infinitives and gerunds. Do you remember what is this word, infinitive or gerunds? Um, a verb, infinite, infinitive, um, work, um, no, anyone? No one remembers? Um, Roxy? Two? Yes. Hi. Hi, and night. This is my first day in this class, and well, I remember that the gerunds uh, are the words uh, that um, ending in en ing. Okay, correct. So the words that finish in ing are gerunds. So which are the words that are infinitive? How do you think we make the infinitives? Hi, good night. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you today? Excellent, Fernando. And Fernando, what are infinitives? Infinities, very infinities is two, two plus verb. Excellent, very good, you remembered. It's super easy, only it sounds complicated, but it's not. So the idea is we have uh, infinitives and gerunds. Let me put this out of the way. And then let's take a look here. Okay. Roxana, can you read today's objective? Yes, sure. In this class, you will practice using infinitives and gerunds for use and purpose. Good. Remember the final S. Uses, purposeless. Uses. Okay, Purpose. good. Always remember the final sounds. Thank you so much. All right, Roxy. So we're going to learn a little bit about this. 
but I see many of you have the idea. Gerund ing, infinitive two. Let's see the difference. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to send I emails. I not hear. Nor, I use my computer for send emails. Oh. I cannot hear, teacher. Okay. The other people, did you listen? Yes. Yeah, I listen. Yes, I listen. Okay, yeah. something yes. is wrong with your computer, Fernando. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. No, thank you. That way we know if, if the problem is from me or from, from the computer. But let me help you, Fernando. Uh, the idea is the gerunds in the infinitives. So, for example, you say you study English, right? So why do you study English? Anyone, anyone, why do you study English? Um, maybe in, in, my, in my case, because this is um, a, a, a great opportunity to grow in my job and to practice, uh, to get fluency and confidence. And this is so important to, to uh, speak with others. Okay, good, very good. Anybody else? Why do you study English? Well, in my case, because it's my career. I study that, I started in my college and here. And I can, uh, I will, I will, well, I study English because I can get a job, a better job. And, and, como dijo mi compañera, eh, conseguir grandes oportunidades también. Oh, okay. And how do you say that in English? Uh, conseguir is like get, get Correct. a great, get, mm -hmm. a, get a, a great opportunity. Okay, good. So if you notice the two partners, gave similar answers. The answers were the reasons they explained, but they explained with the word because. This is correct. This is normal. Why do you study English? Because. Why do you do something? Because. Correct? You, you have used the word because before, right? Yeah, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, good. So, is the same function two and four. Two and four is the same because. It's only to give you more vocabulary. Why do you study English? To get a better job. For getting uh, a better job. To have more opportunities. For having more opportunities. Because I want more opportunities. Is the same function. Four and two is to give you more synonyms. Not only because, because, because. 
Hey, why do you work? I because. Why do you study English? I because. Hey, why do you have a boyfriend? I because. Why do you have a wife? I no 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 no. The idea is to use for and to to explain why. Why? Mm -hmm. For example, do you go to the gym? Why? Kimberly, why do you go to the gym? Because why? Uh, I want to have uh, a better body. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So why do you go to the gym? Is normal. We normally answer to have a better body. Right? This is the same idea. Now we don't have to use because we don't have to use because. Mm -hmm. Ah, why do you go to the gym? Uh, not only because I want a better body. Ah, for improving my health, to have a better body, to uh, reduce weight, to all of these different things. That's the idea. Why we use it? Okay. 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 It's okay. Yes. It's great. Yes, okay, great. So now we're going to talk with our partners for the different things. You're going to ask your partners questions with why. Roxana, why do you wear glasses? Um, yeah, quería decir because. No, no because. No because. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh, yes. Chancletazo. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Um, for, for have a uh, better vision. Good idea, but remember, no for half. What is the correct way for? Okay, get. remember. Yes, Eric. Get. No, no. It's for the word for. Remember, when you use for, always, always ing for having, having. better vision. When you use to, always the verb base form. So. Is correct. Why do you wear glasses? Oh, I wear glasses to have better vision. I wear glasses for having better vision. I wear glasses because I want to improve my vision. But the grammar is for with ing, to only the verb. It's okay. okay? Yes, yes. All right. So we're going to make small groups. And we're going to ask your partner different whys. Why do you go to the gym? Why do you work? Why do you study English? Different questions. The idea is make the answer, but do not use because. Try to use for with ing or to with the verb in base form. Let's go. Kimberly, you okay? Well, Scott, you okay? Kim, Oscar, Rosa? Oscar, you okay?
Hey, Oscar, you're having some problems with the internet, right? Okay. Rosa, why do you study English? Um, I study English. Um, for working call center ah. and traveling um, to other country. Okay, great. That's a great reason. It, and it's just like because, very good. Okay. Eric, why do you study English? Uh, for getting a better job. Okay, good. And can, and can earn money. Okay, and to earn money. And to earn money, okay. Okay, good, good. Okay. Tricia, why do you work? I work at the Prensa Grafica. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Uh, I have the opportunity. Uh, 
and this this work I liked. Okay, do you like the work? Okay, good. So you can explain with different forms. It's not only one way to explain why you do something. These four and two is to give you more options so you don't repeat the same vocabulary. Okay? Right now, we're going to go to 2.2. And now that we understand how to use four and two in knowledge check 2.2, we are going to complete the phrases by selecting which is correct. So you read and you select which is correct with your partner from numbers one through six. Only a few moments because only you read and make the correct selection, which is the best. So for this, really only you need a uh, four minutes. Okay. Any questions? No, we are clear. Excellent. Let's do it. Four minutes, boom. Oscar, do you have some problems? Pronunciation, syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR,
All right. Let's start off. Number one, Josemeth. Sorry. The first one is satellites. Uh, are satellites used? are used to study the worst weather. Okay. Is the first one. The first one. Okay, good. Fernando, number two. Number two is a ver. A second, please. Okay. Robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Okay, good. Nady, number three. Um, number three, you can use a cell phone to send text messages. Good pronunciation, messages. Messages, to okay. send text messages. Good, Perla, number four. Perla? People use the internet is uh, making travel reservation. Number three. Yes, yeah. see. Sí. Okay. Don't worry, we're gonna check in a moment. Thank you. Um, Roxana, number five. The first. Go ahead, read it, Roxana. Uh, DNI finger sprinter is used to identify criminals. Okay, good. DNA, DNA. DNA, DNA. Okay, good, to identify. Good, Sandra, number six. Favorite rooms are used for uh, storing an um, encyclopedia. Yeah. For storing encyclopedias. All right. Not bad, guys. As you can see, almost correct. Only number four is not correct. The others, yes. In number four, what is the correct way? People use the internet. Make it travel trans reservations. Okay. For making. For this making. Remember, if we use ing, is obligation used for? This is the difference. If you use ing, the obligation is for. It's okay? Yes. yes. All right. Great. So now we're going to go ahead and listen to a little bit of pronunciation. Right now, we're just going to listen to some words and the correct way to pronounce those words. Pronunciation, syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM Engineer Entertain Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages Telephone Transmission Robotics Understand VCR. Okay, so let's switch. 
and let's pronounce those words together. Everybody say languages. 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 Telephone. 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 Okay. Transmission. 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 Robotics. 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 Understand? Understand. 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 VCR. 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 Yeah. Okay, good. One more time. Let's repeat this word. Robotics. 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 Okay. Remember to pronounce the S. Many people only pronounce robotic, but it's not robotic. It's robotics. Robotics. One more time. Robotics. 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 Okay, good. Very good. Now we're going to be looking a little bit of infinite, using imperatives in infinitive for making suggestions. Okay. Hang on. I think that's. Yeah. I'm going to put in mute. That way we can hear the dog. Kim, I think that's your dog, right? I'm sorry. No, 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 no problem. No problem. I'm just going to put you on mute. Relax. Okay. So here, let's watch the video and listen a little bit of how to use the imperatives. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, message. or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay. So we have to answer four questions. One more time, listen to the four questions we're going Make to Make sure answer. to hit the end button or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? So we have to listen question number one. Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? That's number two. Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? Number three, what is the first thing to do? What should the woman press? Number four, what should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answer. Okay, let's listen one more time and answer those four questions. Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. All right, so who owns the phone? Uh, Robert? No, Jenny. Jenny's, Jenny's, Jenny's boss. So, who is the owner of the cell phone? Jenny or Richard? Uh, Richard. 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 Yes. Richard. Richard. Good. And what is the first thing they have? You have to do. Turn on. Turn on. The cell phone. Turn on. Okay. Good. Let's see. Okay. 
I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure now. to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. What is the last thing they need to do? Push the, the end, end button. Yeah, push the end button. Just like when you make a phone call. Push the make sure to hit button. the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? Oh, that one we forgot. Number two. Who are they calling? The boss. Jenny's boss. Jenny's yeah. Jenny's boss. Good. Jenny's boss. All right. Everything else was correct. Good. Any questions? Yeah. What is the meaning of borrow? Borrow is when you want to buy a house or a car, you go to Banco Agricola or Cusca Clan and you borrow money. You borrow money. When you have money and you let other people use it, you lend money. So borrow is I get, lend is I give. Como prestar. Yes, but in English, it's two different words. In English, in Spanish, it's only one word. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. It's okay, borrow? Ay, como prestar dinero. Eric, I, I, it must be Eric, because if I hear Spanish, I know it's Eric. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. I imagine it was you. Go ahead, Eric. Tell me. Y eso le estaba preguntando que es como prestar dinero. The borrow? Uh -huh. yes. No. You can borrow no. money. And so I can borrow anything. Lend me. You can borrow or lend anything, but it's two oh, different okay. actions. Borrow is you receive. Lend is you give. Yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understood. Okay. Good, good. Okay. All right. So we have the idea of making the request, right? So that's the main idea. So right now we're going to talk to our partners and we're going to think about what was the last time you asked for a favor? What was the last favor that you asked for? Okay. What did the person say? Did the person say yes or no? Or what happened? Okay. It's okay? It's okay. Okay. So remember, okay. What was the last time you asked for a favor? What did the person say? Okay. And what happened? All right, only quickly with our partners, only a few moments, we practice and then we come back.
Hello everyone! Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn... Okay, any questions? No, no. No? Okay, I want you to look in the chat. In the chat, you should have a link for many questions. So take a look in the chat. You should have a little link that you click on. Click on the link and it will give you many questions to practice. Do you see the link? Do you see the questions? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So the question is about arguing and arguments. Arguments are like fighting, but not physically, is with our words. So with our partners, we are going to ask and answer the different questions, and we're going to give our opinion. Try to give complete sentences. First, look at the questions. Can you identify any words that you don't know or any parts that you are not sure what is the meaning? It's okay? We are ready then? Yeah, teacher is okay. All right, let's do it.
Rocio, are you having problems? Rocio, do you need some help? Hey, Rosa, yo se me... Sorry, es que yo no puse atención a lo que estaba diciendo usted. <laughs> okay, so here is the link for the chat. And in the chat, you have many questions. You're going to use those questions to talk with your partner. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> no, no worry. It's good. It's okay. Yes, just only one question. Uh, yes. teacher. The questions are in Spanish, right? No. Uh, I don't know why the link is, uh, that I take the question are in Spanish. I don't know how can I put in English. It's because in your computer, you have the translator automatically. Or maybe that that is yes the problem uh -huh. i mean it is i use my my phone uh -huh. but when i open it it's just uh in spanish the the questions I, yes that's why i didn't understand what's gonna I, happen <laughs> i imagine is is normal for your phone i imagine in your phone you put automatic traducir todas las páginas mm -hmm. oh okay and so in order for it to be in english you have to click in don't translate okay mm -hmm. okay thank you teacher you're welcome so now we'll go to work okay <laughs> thank you you're welcome
everything is being recorded. Okay. Any questions? Any vocabulary or um, something you didn't understand? This ex exercise was um, very difficult for me. I'm glad, Roxana, because that means that you are trying to improve more. If it's easy, then it's not exercise. If it's easy, it's only review. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? Um, what that mean in Butinsky? Ah, Butinsky uh, uh, the, yeah. is the person who always but ins. The, the, this is, but in is um, the person who is nosy. For example, Roxana and I are talking. Oh, and we are going to go to the party. What, uh, what party? Huh? What happened? Or uh, Kimberly and I are talking about the homework. Ah, and, and the homework, what happened? What do we do? This is the Batinsky. The person that always butts in. In English, is the correct word is butts in. And this is the name of the person. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, I couldn't understand this, this, uh, this question. What, what does your family argue about? Argue. What is the meaning? Argue. Okay. Argue about. So all of the topic is argue. Argue is the discussion or the fighting. So what do your family argue about? What do they get angry about cleaning the, uh, uh, cleaning the dishes, taking out the garbage? Uh, maybe they argue about who is going to watch or use the TV. These are the- What is the argument. reason? Is the arguments is the topics. Ah, okay. And about is what does your uh, family argue about? The reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other words? No. Yes. So, so. Se me cayó el internet. Estoy congelada. So, so. What, what happened? So, so. What happened? What, what, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I see you and you are like. Everything good, thanks. Okay. The, ah, right, very strange. No, it's normal, it's not normal. The idea is the normal is speaking, talking. All right, guys. So before we go, remember, we are going to continue tomorrow in our class. Tomorrow is Friday, but this week we have class. If you can connect, great. If not, it's no problem. I understand that Friday is difficult for some people to connect. Okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. I like Sandra. Thank you, Sandra is like a picture. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Sandra. All right. Have a good night, guys. I see thank you tomorrow. You. Good night. Good night. I see you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.